I think it is certainly an escalation between these two long-time enemies. You've got uh, them technically targeting uh, Iranian soil here, right? It's in Syria, but being the consulate compound, it is affiliated to Iran itself in a way much more directly than previous similar attacks we've seen where they've perhaps targeted military personnel or Iranian proxies, but not in this direct way on what's technically Iranian territory. There was footage overnight showing the aftermath. It's the sort of one building still standing where you can see uh, the, the, the government's poster still up and the building next to it completely flattened, the car outside completely burnt out. Um, we know that the two targets, uh, Mohammad Reza Zahedi and his deputy, both there as, as military advisors from Iran to Syria, and he's got a long history in the Republican in the Revolutionary Guards Quds Force, that's the expeditionary force responsible for bringing Iran's revolutionary ideals uh, abroad to the region. Yeah, you kind of have to wonder whether this is Netanyahu using the war with Hamas to take the fight to Iran. What's been Iran's response and what are its options here? Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's that, that tricky balancing act where they're going to absolutely feel the need to respond but they're also constrained by, I think, a practical uh, prerogative to not invite further response themselves. Um, but already we've seen, uh, I think, Iran going further than it has in, in previous similar cases. You mentioned the foreign minister's statement. This time they also summoned the, uh, the Swiss um, attaché who represents U.S. interests in, in Iran, U.S., of course, not being there themselves. That's not something you usually see when this happens. We also found out just an hour or so ago that the, the top National Security Council met late last night and a statement said they took appropriate decisions uh, without elaborating. So they're already signaling that, that this is being taken seriously and they're, they're sort of uh, telegraphing that there will be a response in a more public way than they have in, in previous uh, similar attacks. The question, of course, is do they do something similar? Do they try and attack Israel on its own territory? That would, of course, be a huge escalation. Or do they find some kind of proximate equivalent like this, uh, you know, extraterritorial territory, like in the case of the consular? It's a tricky balancing act for them.